So today I'm here with Samantha Padgett who sits on our NEOM wellbeing board and she gives us advice on all things nutritional um, and here today we're going to talk about the role of creating energy with the food that you eat and what specific kind of snacks and foods you can eat to, to power your energy through the day. So Samantha when I wake up in the morning, is there such thing as a perfect breakfast that you can have to give you that kind of slow release energy that you need throughout the day? Um, yes, there is. I think the key to maintaining um, efficient energy levels throughout the day is also um, in blood sugar control. So the best way that we can do this is with three things really, protein, healthy fats and fiber. So I would say that first thing in the morning, when you get up, you want to kind of take control of your blood sugar levels straight away. Mm -hmm. And so a great breakfast might be an omelet with some green leafy vegetables um, and some nice spices, whatever you fancy. And what about coffee? Because there's a big debate about whether coffee is okay or not. Yeah, well, it really depends on the individual. So the way, you know, uh, we practice nutritional therapy is all about sort of what works for the individual. So we have we work with them to decide what works for their bodies. So some people respond to caffeine very differently than others. Some people are very sensitive to it. You will know if you are. Um, there's a lot of interesting research um, into caffeine and into um, cardiovascular disease prevention. So I don't want to say that caffeine is necessarily bad for you, but some people might wake up and want a cup, cup of coffee. Um, Others might find this overstimulating, mm -hmm. so we might want to look, to look to alternatives such as green tea or other ginger teas. If you had to choose between tea or coffee, which would you choose? Personally? Yeah. Um, I love green tea and I, I do like coffee, so I have one to two coffees a day, personally. Um, and that's my limit. Okay, so we start today with an omelette. Mm. What would be perfect to have for lunch? So for lunch, I would opt for a good lean protein, so such as fish, lean meat, chicken, turkey, um, eggs, if you don't have eggs for breakfast, for example, with some vegetables. So a nice chicken salad, nice tuna salad, um, a whole grain, a little bit of whole grain rice with some stir-fried vegetables and a piece of protein. So it's all about what you're balancing and what, composition, what the composition of your meals are. So how about that sort of mid-afternoon Mars bar or kind of that biscuit that would give you that quick sugar rush yeah. and that quick hit of energy? Is that really giving you energy? Yes, it gives you immediately available glucose in the blood. So if you think about when you, when you have gone, when your blood sugar levels have taken a dip, you want to reach for something sugary because it gives you that immediate rise. The key is to get control of your blood sugar levels you know, during the whole day. So if you have a properly proportionate lunch, you won't really get to that point. Mm -hmm. And the key again is putting healthy fat in there, like olive oils, avocados, nuts and seeds, putting the protein in there, so the fish, the, the lean meat, the eggs. And presumably it's never letting it, letting it get that high exactly. so that it doesn't dip. Exactly. So you're keeping this You're keeping constant. them steady, steadily rising, steadily falling, as opposed to sugar pushing you up and then you will inevitably crash down. But what if you needed that hit of energy? So sometimes I come home and I run on an evening. Mm -hmm. Are there such foods that you can eat that are healthy foods that could give you that boost of energy to go for a run when you might be feeling kind of sluggish at four or five o'clock? Yes. I mean, uh, that's when you'd probably reach for something more carbohydrate-y, um, but more of the complex whole grain variety. So some brown rice, um, some some alternative grains. So some oats are really good, really good um, alternative grain. You could have grain. porridge at four o'clock. You right? could. A lot of people actually have porridge before, um, before they go to sleep as well to help them sleep because they're because whole grains are good in that respect. Oh, but that. to give you some, if you're going on a long run, you might need something oat based an hour before you run, for example. Fantastic. So just tell me top three tips for your most energizing foods. Most energizing foods. Well, I think the key is, as opposed to a food per se, it's all in the composition of your meals. So protein, protein, protein is a massive rule. Um, but again, putting the fiber and putting the healthy fats in your meals. And if you're going to go the carbohydrate route, then you'd want to go complex rather than simple. So think brown rather than white. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You're that welcome. was really, really helpful. That's so if you want more energy boosting tips, come online at neomorganics.com.